Waste Swivel, I'm still kind of like, ah. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Spider Man Far From Home movies Molten Man, Build a Figure, Waves, Scorpion. If you pick up the set, you can do so. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. All right, finally, a new Scorpion figure. I'm very excited for this one. On the side of the packaging, you can see Scorpion right there with the open face. We're going to get the Covered face right there. On the back, you can see Scorpion again. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. We get Scorpion again on this side. Then we get a spot varnished spider logo on the top. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the new Scorpion figure out of the packaging with an older design looking really sheen over here. I really love this metallic paint that we're seeing throughout on the figure. This shiny green paint just looks incredible, so I'm very happy with that. Among some other things with this figure, uh, but I do have some gripes, so we'll get into that in just a minute. We only get the Build-A-Figure piece as an accessory, so let's just get a closer look at Scorpion. So one thing I love about Amazing Spider-Man is that J. Jonah Jameson is not just Peter Parker's enemy, but he's definitely a Spider-Man villain, not just having the Spider-Slayer suits, but also being a part of the development of this Scorpion villain right over here, along with Dr. Stillwell, who developed the suit and gave the venom and everything to Mac Gargan so he could become Scorpion. And at one point, Mac Gargan did possess the Venom symbiote and he impersonated Spider-Man with the Dark Avengers. And there have been several design changes with the Scorpion suit. Uh, from the Fox cartoon we saw an open cowl and we're seeing a closed cowl right over here with this figure more resembling the original look of Scorpion but this design right here has been brought back to the Spencer Otley comics so I think that's why they went with this choice right here. Uh, if you guys had heard my interview with Bobby Valla formerly from Hasbro he'd actually designed this figure so that you did have an open cowl as you could see the sculpted line right here along the side of the face, but Tony uh, decided to paint it uh, green instead, which I think may have been a decision because he looks more like this in the most recent comics, but I do prefer the open mouth cowl version right there, but it still looks really good. I really love this head sculpt, man. I think it looks great. I love the flesh tone right there. The eyes look good. The mask looks great. Big old teeth right there. There's a little bit of marbling in this metallic plastic, but not enough to really bother me a whole ton. You can still see those lines sculpted in the suit and everything. You can see the ears right there. And then I love how this metallic paint came out, man. It looks absolutely fantastic. Again, a little bit of marbling, you know, that it's gonna come through here and there, parts of the figure. The arms look great right here too. Makes me super happy to see sculpting in the joints right there, so that's cool. I like that quite a bit. I'm very unhappy with the hands though. One really cool thing about the Scorpion is that he has these super strong hands. Like that's how he wall crawls, is that he has these claws that he just digs into brick and concrete and he's just able to scale walls with brute strength and yeah these hands look weak I mean this hand looks really weak it has no points at the end or anything it's all just like relaxed not grabbing or anything and then we get a fisted hand over here which I'm like oh come on so I wish he had two like serious clawing hands instead of these hands right here that irks me and we're missing a little bit of that metallic reflective paint right over here on the lower torso I like the sculpt of it. it looks cool to me but you know we're just not seeing the same amount of bright shiny paint as we're seeing on this lower portion but it comes back right over here at the thighs you can see it's missing right at the very top so it does fade in and out a little bit but you only really notice it when you're actually you know looking at it very closely but you know it is there and then here's looking at the boots and everything I feel like these are from the Sunfire body mold right these feet right here and he has the peg holes then we get this awesome tail oh, I'm so happy with this tail right here this looks great man I measured this thing out to be 14 inches across just a very very long bendy wire tail really dig it a lot and get the point right over here at the end very cool and we get really good articulation on this figure too his head looks all the way up I love that that is great and you can move the head all the way down and by the way the disc hinge in there has that a little bit of a metallic sheen I like that but you can turn the head side to side and a little bit of head tilting right over there shoulders move outward very far they move down they rotate a full 360 you get a bicep swivel double jointed elbows and then both hands turn side to side and hinge up and down you get a diaphragm joint here that turns side to side crunches forward 
forward. Crunches back only that much because the tail gets in the way. And we get some good diaphragm pivot. We also get a waist swivel, very clickety clackety waist swivel. Hips move all the way outward and it can kick forward that much and not back so much. Upper thigh cut, double joint and knees, boot rotation right here. Then the ankles move down, they move up and he has beautiful ankle pivot. And then the tail starts bending all the way up here and you can get it to do a full on curl like that. So that's cool. That's as tight as you could bend it inward. And I wanted to do a size comparison to one of the tendrils that came with the most recent Hasbro Doc Ock figure. Uh, x Manny 87 had brought the point up to me. He's like, hey man, if that bendy wire tail on Scorpion's just as thick as Doc Ock tentacles, I'm gonna be hella pissed, man. And it looks like the Scorpion tail is a little bit thicker here. It's, it's kind of hard to tell, but it, oh no, it's definitely thicker on the Scorpion tail, but not by a whole lot, man. Yeah, you can still see the scorpion tail through there. So yeah, it is thicker than the Doc Ock tentacles, but man, I still feel like they could have given us bendy wire with these. It's such a shame. Another thing with this tail is when I first got it out of packaging, it looked like it wanted to bend more side to side. Like I really had to reconfigure this so that, you know, it was the holes on the bottom and then no holes on the top. I feel like that's the way it's supposed to go. So you can see at the bottom here, we get all the holes. So that's how you want it configured if it's in a relaxed kind of thing. You don't want to get the wire all twisted in there so that when you bend it, one way it kind of does that weird lean thing when you bend it you know what I mean I hate that now to measure out this new scorpion figure you can see that it's standing right at the six and a half inch mark yeah I wish it was taller and for your scorpion comparison we have our Hasbro Marvel Legends scorpion and then we have our Toy Biz Spider-Man series scorpion figure aka Marvel Legends scorpion technically not a Marvel legend and he's posed kind of weird because I don't want to risk breaking this hip joint right there but these two figures are both very good and I gotta say out of the two of these figures I still prefer the Toy Biz one I I would like to say I like the Hasbro one more and there's definitely really good things about it and if you like the Hasbro figure more than the Toy Biz version I totally understand I mean the tail is way longer on the Hasbro version look at that and then you can get the head to move up on this one and you cannot do that with this one right over here uh, but the thing that I really like about the Toy Biz one is that it's bulky it's big that's how I feel like Matt Gargan should look you know just towering over Spider-Man this smaller version reminds me of his first appearance where he's not as large and I'm curious to know in the comment section below let me know out of these two figures which do you like more and there's also a variant of this one that looks more like this where it was all shiny and it had the covered cow so if I wanted the first appearance look I would have picked it up when Toy Biz made it so I do like how this looks a bit more and then for your Mac Gargan comparison we have him in his scorpion form right here and then we have one of the Mac Gargan Venom figures and then here's scorpion next to a couple other classic spider-man villains we have Doc Ock from Hasbro and then we have the Hasbro Build-A-Figure Sandman figure you know I really like the Sandman figure but it would be nice to have a more human sized Sandman. And then here's Scorpion next to the other figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have the Far From Home Spider Man, we have the Julia Carpenter Spider Woman, and then we have Doppelganger and Hydro Man. And you can see how short Scorpion is compared to Hydro Man over here. You know, I wish Scorpion was at least as tall as Hydro Man. And then here's Scorpion next to some Spider Man figures. We have the Hasbro Marvel Legends Pizza Spidey, the Toy Biz First Appearance Spider Man, and the Mafex Comic Version Spider Man. And then here's the new Scorpion figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Let down Spider-Man. Hey, you're all green. I'm all green. That's one thing we have in common. Maybe instead of enemies, we should be friends. Aww. Mm. Oh, why do I even try? So I have complaints with this figure. I definitely complained about it during this review, but I still really like it a lot. And I think this is a good figure that we've gotten from Hasbro. It's just, there's, again, things that bother me about it, but I still had a lot of fun with it. I love the bendy wire tail. I love the paint apps for the most part. I think this design works as a first appearance Scorpion figure from my collection. And if this was the only Scorpion figure you had, I would say it's a good Scorpion figure, man. You know, so I think it's a good piece, just not my favorite out of this one compared to the Toy Biz figure that I have. And my biggest complaint about it really is the size. I just wish he was a little bit larger. But anyway, at the price point of around 20 to $25, I'm giving this a sud rating of It's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below and hit that like button if you liked the video and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel over on Patreon. If you're interested in supporting, check it out. Link in the description below. Check out MarvelousNews.com for the latest in action figure news and be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. Links to everything I talked about in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!
every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, let me show them some Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.